You've waited a lifetime to look better and feel better, and now here's your chance. Fitness Friday on WNDB. Call 239-0033 and have your questions answered on health, fitness, and a better life. Fitness Friday is brought to you by Bodies by Tasso and Company, 1140 West Granada Boulevard in Ormond Beach. And now, here's your host, Tasso Kiriakis. All right, welcome to Fitness Friday today. Chad, nice to see you in here with us. Hey, thanks, Tasso. It's good here. to be here. We have our co-host in studio from Love Hole Foods, Mitch Booth. Hey, Mitch good is morning, here today. Tasso. And Mitch, you had a big seminar last night uh, that we'll talk about a little bit. It becomes It's interesting how we get on the same, same sort of wavelength because, you know, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the importance of glutamine, uh, which will make, let people know more about what glutamine is and the importance of it and stuff. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about that. And, and, and reading this article about glutamine and its involvement in the immune system and things of that nature, um, reading an awful lot about sugar's influence, which we look at sugar from the influence of so many so many different things. So... We're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about what's going on, and uh, hopefully we'll get a call from my friend Don Young, and we'll talk about the quarterback club a little bit. Just to give everybody an update, uh, everybody I think has been listening to the radio show knows that I've taken on the task uh, because of a guy named Terry Saviston get me sort of corralled and put into an uh, awkward position where I couldn't say no, and then for my own personal beliefs of uh, some, some really uh, – uh, people that I, I respect a lot in this community in the past, uh, Tip and Davidson especially, uh, the, Symphony, the Symphony Society is hosting a thing called Dancing with the Stars, and I got involved with Dancing with the Stars, and I have a great professional instructor who is my partner, and uh, her name is Annie Hawkins, and Annie was, joined us on the show last week. She teaches uh, in, in up in Flagler and St. John's County. She actually teaches a program that goes to the, the elementary schools and teaches dance and music two kids as part of the arts and uh annie is my instructor and she is uh 25 years experience as a dancer she's very accomplished as a ballroom dancer and as a as a teacher and she is going to um start next wednesday wednesday september i believe that it would be the fourth is going to be doing zumba class at 5 15 at bodies personalized fitness if you'd like to come take zumba for my instructor <coughs> it's sort of going to be neat what we do uh it's going to be only 15 people in the class for non-members of the club, it's going to be $10. For members of the club, it's going to be $5. All that money is going to go to buy more tickets to the Dancing with the Stars event. And then periodically through uh, the course of time from now to November 10th when the event is, we will have a drawing of everybody's names who've been. Every time you come to a class, you get another another raffle ticket, essentially. So what will happen is, is that you'll be getting chance to where you can win a $75 ticket to the Dancing with the Stars event, which is going to be at the Hilton on November 10th. So we're going to start out with just the one day a week to see how the response is. We'd like to have some other days like a Saturday or something like that where other people can come. This is the one we've chosen to get started with because it fits into her schedule. And uh, and she's been working me pretty hard and, uh, um, you know, you know, people like Terry have their questions about how how I'm going to dance with two left feet and all that kind of stuff. My kids want to know, like, you know, how uh, Fred Flintstone is going to be able to do the rumba. And so we're going to do the best we can. And, you know, my my goal is to go out there and I have, you know, there's two there are two ways they recognize the people. It's number one is the person who raises the most money. The other one is the person who's the, the best dancer. Now, I look at the list of the other stars that are dancing and dancing with the stars. Listen, there are some people who got some pretty good dance experience there. So I'm going like, oh, man, that's going to be tough, you know. So I, I'm, I'm looking over here going, I better, I better work hard on the uh, fundraising part of it. And, uh, you know, interesting enough, it goes, the, f the money that's raised goes to support the uh, Symphony Society's uh, project with, uh, for uh, kids, children's um, music and that, their, their program for that. So I think that's a great cause for them. And uh, I didn't know that. I, I thought it was just a symphony society when I first got started, but it's a specific for the kids. And, you know, me and kids, I love kids. I, youth ministry is one of my passions. I've, I've loved coaching. I've been a volunteer coach in this area for uh, 35 years, I think, now, uh, whether it be wrestling or helping out with football. You know, this is going to be one of the first seasons where I don't have a big involvement in football on the sidelines just because of my involvement in some other things. You know, one of the things is um, is focusing on the business and building you know, one of my long-term goals, Mitch, which I've shared with you, I think, is that one of the long-term goals is to evolve bodies from just, you know, we look at bodies, personalized fitness, and you think it's, it's just a fitness center. And people come in and they expect to see the same kind of environment that they see at a Gold's Gym or a, 
or a, a yeah, lead the same thing happens with a, love whole foods that, exactly people, that's people why. come in and they say whoa what's this <laughs> this doesn't look like a vitamin shop right and, and so they walk in and they and, and 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 i want that culture of who we are to change dramatically over the years and it has changed i mean i think we've differentiated ourselves both in both of our businesses and in our case we have to overcome that people come in and they expect to see everybody as the uh the elite athlete hard buys we have an interesting dichotomy you know we have we have someone who works out with us that just won a you know a bronze medal in the in the world championships as a sprinter we have kids that play in the nfl and by the other the other side of it we have the 85 and 90 year old people that come and work out and and we work on their functional fitness and we keep them healthy and we keep them you know we have a we have a 95 year old guy that's going to turn 96 this month he's still driving his car to the fitness center to, to go work out so uh, we we take in the science of fitness it's a different culture and and some people have a difficult time but, but the way i look at it is this is only about five to six percent of the people in the world or in the united states are really fitness minded where they go and they join a fitness center so i look um, at that with, that uh mirrors what happens in the whole food business only five to seven percent of the marketplace actually purchases supplements and and are committed to um, food as medicine right and the, and then um and then and then we see what happens to, is that to me that leaves 95 percent of the population out there now we know 35 percent of that population doesn't want to have anything to do with fitness just like there's probably 35 percent of the people if you told them hey if you continue eating that to, that food right there whatever it is x food you're going to die a year from now they'd still keep eating it we see that personified in that people continue to smoke knowing that the risk of cancer is higher keep taking high fat foods and keep taking uh sugar in to you know that type of thing we see we that. both work with a clientele that takes personal responsibility it's all about personal responsibility and you're not a fitness nazi and i'm not a health nazi or a food nazi people decide what they want to do so um, we, we, we try and differentiate. Well, one of my goals long term is to have a totally natural anti-aging clinic um, and, and where you can come in. It's all based on the food you eat, the supplements you take, the way you exercise. So, you know, the, the model, you know, most people think I'm going to come into a health club and I'm going to hear someone tell me, well, you know what, you know, Sean, we're talking about you coming to visit us next week. And you're yep. probably walking in and, you know, in your mind you say, oh, I don't have time for exercise. Oh, man, you know, I have... I've got to do exercise every day. That's what the government tells me, you know, right? And so the reality is, is that in order to change your body, I need a couple days a week. I need 30 minutes twice, twice a week. Really? Uh, that's all? That's all. I was expecting and, a lot more. Well, see, that, and, and our ad written just before the show is the eight-hour body. Well, you know, we took and broke it down into eight hour, an eight-hour pro, eight program over eight weeks. That's an hour a week, half hour, twice a day, 20 minutes, three times a week with our protocols we put in place. You will change your body. Now, will you become an elite athlete? No. But will you change your health? Will you change the dynamics of your system? Yes, we can do that. And that's what we're about. And it's about efficiency and use of science. Today, we're going to talk about science. You know, I, 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 you know I, if you talk to most bodybuilders, they're going to tell you, again, glutamine. They're going to tell you glutamine is, a, is the most plentiful amino acid in, in muscle tissue. It's what you need. If you're not getting enough glutamine in, and you know, you know, Mitch, if I were to go try and force feed glutamine to myself, I'd have a lot of gastric distress, you know, right? If I try to put too much into me. But we know that glutamine is important to building lean body tissue. Well, but uh, it, it's also an anti-inflammatory. It's my number one selling amino acid, especially for people doing chemo. Um, the cancer clinic down, just down the road from our Ormond Beach campus, uh, actually writes prescriptions for glutamine to help with uh, the joint pain and the and the gut dysbiosis from chemo. And 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 you said not to use just big words last week, so so people understand what gut dysbiosis is. The gut. The, the chemo kills the good bacteria. That's right. And in, in the in the stomach, the stomach lining, the the lining of the large and small intestine, and the end result is not only pain but obviously diarrhea well gut dysbiosis is what it is 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 that there's an imbalance between the good and the back bad bacteria and and we've talked about the people i think a couple weeks ago we talked about it, uh, i had had a conversation with daniel pompa about one of my clients and he said when you look at when you look at the ratio between good and bad bacteria when you have 85 percent of your bacteria being good and 15 percent being bad because the bad's going to exist then that's you're correct. gonna be, you're and, gonna be and, and that's not a bad thing, by the right. way. That's the that's way. Right. That's 
that's the way of the world. You're, you're going to have a healthy body. When you flip that and you have 15% of your bacteria is, is good and 85% is bad, that's when you're going to see Crohn's disease and celiac disease. Irritable and bowel other, syndrome. Right, so you're going to see all these things. So what we, what we want to do is we want to maintain that good bacteria. Well, here's something I've, 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 I've sort of came across reading that I don't know that I had a, you know, I, I have a background in, in biochemistry, but I don't know that I had a full background and understanding of this. Glutamine is not only a very important uh, amino acid to muscle building in the bodybuilder, but it's also a very important muscle, uh, a very important amino acid to the immune system. So the, the way the body works, this brain, gut, and, and immune system connection works that we've been talking about so much, what happens in, in, in this is this situation is we get all these antigens into the body. You know, our, our immune system has the first line of defense is the saliva. Then it comes down to the stomach acid. Then you get into the gut, which really can cause all that bacteria to grow very quickly because it's wet and it's moist and it's warm and that type of thing. And, uh, and so um, uh, what happens is we, we have all these antigens that come into the body. Those antigens come into the body and to support the, the immune system's sh uh, sh shoulders to function, you need glutamine, okay? Absolutely. So if you're not eating a good diet of glutamine, you're, you're, not, you're eating sugar instead of good proteins that survive, uh, supply that, then what occurs is this. The, the, the gut mind, that digestive tract gut mind, says to the brain, says, we need more glutamine. We need to, to support our troops that are fighting the bad, the bad invaders. So what happens is the brain, the mind says the, the the head brain it says to the to the hypothalamus it says look we need more glutamine so it produces cortisol which we know is a respondent to stress cortisol goes in and waste muscle goes in and has your own it's also a response to antigens when right. uh, when it perceives that there are antigens in the in the bloodstream that don't belong there so what happens is this cortisol is dropped in the the the, the muscle is wasted there is now a pool of of glutamine available for the immune system. Now, when that process is repeated over and over, now we see the senior population that doesn't always eat real well, doesn't always take good care of itself. Oh, they're going out to eat. Th they, now, they now get a condition called, uh, sar uh, 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 oh, my God, sarco uh, they, they have a sarcopsis. Oh, my God, what I just, I just mm. forgot my word. But, but they lose lean body tissue. They, they, um, they go into a catabolic state. They go into a catabolic state. And, um, and so what happens is, is they waste away. And so now... Yeah, that's is, interesting because cancer used to be called the wasting disease. Right. That's interesting. And, and so what, this is the importance, again, of we have a society that thinks that the way to stay shape, in shape is to go out and do aerobic exercise and to, and to decrease the amount of, 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 um, of, of um, protein and stuff that you have and we eat poorly and in, in the in the process called sarcopenia now now my brain's come back <laughs> so sarcopenia is a wasting away That's a muscle. big word there buddy. So, so so what happens is is we waste away that muscle so we not as strong so what happens we have a huge number of people who are 60 plus who are in nursing homes not because they're sick not because they're ill not because they fell and broke not because they have a heart attack but because they can't walk up a flight of steps they can't hold their balance when they walk. And so the, the balance of the, we come back into this balance of good eating, good exercise, strength training being important and not to be feared. Too many people fear strength because we, we put it in a class that well, only football players train or only bodybuilders strength train. You know, just like we say, well, only the, the health nuts eat organic food. So I want to take a break from this conversation because I've got someone who's real busy on the phone, but he has a really great uh, uh, message to send. And I want to talk to my friend Don Young. Don, how are you today? Well, Tasso and yourself? Good. Hey, listen, I wanted you to call in because, you know, one of my favorite things to do as we get into football season is to go to Quarterback Club. And I think Quarterback Club is a great group because not only do you see some big-name speakers, like you're going to tell us some of the guys that are going to be here this year, but you, you get the opportunity to, um, to have camaraderie with a lot of good people. And, I, and we were talking the other night about, about how much I remember and love with my brother going to uh, – going to quarterback club when I was younger you know my brother was in there when he was like 25 26 years old when he came back from school and started his physical therapy practice and I'd be like 14 years old and then I remember as a as an athlete at Father Lopez High School them having high school football night and back then there was only mainland Seabreeze and, and Father Lopez and we'd be the three main tables in the middle of the room and uh, 
and we got to meet all these guys and they'd have a great speaker back then and I remember hearing Bill Wade of the Chicago Bears talk and I remember hearing Johnny Unitas speak and so we heard these great these great personalities that were really funny you know and then uh, telling stories about football and what it was like and that and, and it made me have a desire to get into um, being in the quarterback club. And I remember when I when I was in college, just like John Penny told us the other night, when, when he was in college, his dad put his, his name on the waiting list. And um, so he um, he got in when he came out of college. I got in when I came out of graduate school and been there ever since, with the exception of one or two years I took off. Uh, love the quarterback club. It's a place that you go with friends just to sit and have dinner. It's not a place you go basically to uh, – to, you know, there's a lot of times in our life we go to networking groups and we try and build business, and the only reason we go to them is because we want to we want to have a project in life or something like that. This is a place you truly go to enjoy and relax. Tell people about the quarterback club, and uh, there is there is room for membership in the quarterback club. We because of being in the Daytona 500 club, we can build the membership up a little bit higher than what it's been in the past uh, because we don't have a seating limitation to it now. Yeah, Todd, so you, you, you kind of hit on all the, the pieces already, you know, what, it, what it's all about. But uh, this is the 67th year of quarterback, so it's been something that's been going on in this town for quite a while. And uh, it's just a great atmosphere um, when you're this time of the year when you're getting football in the blood, when it's talking about whether it's your college team or it's your NFL team. You know, it gives you the ability every Monday night to get together with a bunch of good guys to um, hear some good speakers about, talk about their real-life experiences within the game, whether it was college, whether it was um, the National Football League. It could be a coach. Um, and then on the other side, we use some broadcasters, and then they give us some analysis of, of what our favorite teams are or what are doing. And, and you get to ask them questions, and that's the biggest thing thing i find interesting is that now you can you've got that nagging question in your head and you're not one to pick up the phone and call some radio show or or if you're not going to be on tv or get the opportunity to talk to us, there they are in front of you some of the the best minds in football are there in front of you and you can ask that question you've been dying to ask um this year we've got a great lineup um, I kind of call it the year of the quarterback. Um, this year, we've got, when we represent the three biggest schools uh, in Florida when it comes to college, we've got Shane Matthews coming in from the University of Florida. we got Peter Tom Willis coming in from Florida State. And then we've got a great quarterback in Bernie Kosar who is coming in from the University of Miami. Now, not to be outdone, we always end the year with Lee Corso, from the ESPN, but he was also a Florida State quarterback, so I kind of called it the year of the quarterback. And then we also have uh, we also have the play-by-play announcer for the Bucks and the uh, and the um, and the and the Florida Seminoles. State and Gene Deckroff. Gene, Gene Deckroff's coming, and then for the guys that you know have, um, that are maybe a little on the older we are uh, side, a great great former pro football hall of famer is jack youngblood's coming in and so that to me and he was also a a, a university of florida player right. um so yeah, we the really Rams. represented our state well with this year's uh lineup and then we i think we can kind of round it out we got a couple of um former head coaches from northwestern colorado gary barnett and then we're also throwing in houston nut from ole miss and arkansas the sec coach but one of the things this year that i've never seen at quarterback club and we've we've had a lot of different speakers this year we've got um a gentleman who's been recognized by sports illustrated as one of the top 15 most influential sports agents and so he's coming in to speak it's going to give you a whole different side of the football maybe a little more of the business side the the workings of getting guys signed or getting them to the draft and um doing different things and and so we we are as I was saying because we're at the Daytona 500 Club we found that we can accommodate more than what what our roster was in the past we there, there was always like a 275 or 300 person limit to the club because we uh, we were in smaller venues but this venue has allowed us now for the third straight year to try and expand our membership so th- what we want to do is uh, invite people to that want to come it is it is basically a male organization I mean I I can't think of any females in it. Uh, because I think guys just like to talk football, you know, that, that, because that's really what it's about, getting together, having a drink, having a great meal, talking some football, uh, teasing about your team and stuff like that. How, how do people get enrolled if they want to come to quarterback club? I mean, of course, the first thing is find someone as a quarterback or an ask them to nominate you, but how can they do it through you? 
Well, if they want, they can either call me directly at, at my office at 386 252 2580. Again, that's 386 252 2580 or we are on the web and we are uh, we have our own website which is great and it's a uh, it's daytonaqb.com and again that was daytonaqb.com and they can go on the website and it's got all the information they can download an application fill it out mail it in with your with your check it's uh 350 dollars this year for membership and since we've been trying to raise our members, we just kind of, we've gone ahead and waived our $100 initiation fee uh, for the new members this year. So we're really just trying to get uh, the, to grow that membership and really use the space we have um, at the Daytona 500 Club in the in the middle of the Speedway. It's a great venue. Um, the food's been great. Uh, we, we're we're really looking forward to growing it and um, getting it into level that, and bringing that experience. That you talked about to more and more people. I'm I'm the kind of the same way. I, I first experienced the quarterback club when I played football at Fala Lopez, and then getting to go there one night and then and, and it's kind of funny because one of the first nights I got to go, you actually were the one to bring me there, so which was great um, and got to enjoy and see. And I remember the speaker to this day. Never saw him play. But then I learned a lot about him was Con- Conrad Dobler <laughs> and how nasty of a player he was. Yeah. And that just kind of stuck with me my whole life. And it was just something I remembered. And that as soon as I had the opportunity to, when I got back into um, Daytona and, and got into business, I, I went right out and joined the, the quarterback club. And so people know we do a couple cool things. Is number one, every week they honor two high school athletes that have an outstanding performance. Peter Wakeman uh, heads that up. And then also we have uh, we have our scholarship program, which started out with Buddy Meish and Tommy Durrance, two people who have since left us and uh, and gone to a better place. But they started that program uh, when Tommy was the quarterback club president, and uh, Buddy Meish was a driving force. And back in the old days, they used to go to every campus and take pictures of every senior athlete and get all their stats and make a book and mail these uh, 400 books. And there's and Buddy would come up every year and talk about how many scholarships were got were given in the air. In fact, a good friend of yours and mine is Billy Gahagan, who went to Kansas Wesleyan because of that scholarship book. Exactly. And uh, and there's been a lot of other people like that. Now that now with technology, that's all done on the web for us, and it's not a, there's not a book that's handed out and handed around. But you you know, college coaches are sent the uh, the web address, and they go there and they can look at every senior athlete in this area that and see their SAT scores, see their uh, uh, you know any statistics that are essential to them and they can say wow now we can invest a trip to florida and you see a lot of kids every year you know we have a great connect connection in, in volusia county to lindenburg university in st louis and part of that connection is because of this this program so it's brought that we've ha- had kids be able to go pay it play the next level because of that and you know we're uh, quarterback club is closely tied into the bud, bud asher um, organization that you uh yeah the you foundation know, the foundation that, that also helps kids with that and you know bud was a long time member of the quarterback club and every time some of these really big speakers would come in they'd you know first person they'd acknowledge would be bud asher you know i want to say it's great to see my friend bud asher you know (laughs) exactly so so i hope people it's nice that that's the the other side of the yes we're having fun we're talking football and that but we also have a purpose and the purpose is the youth um, and the football players of of the Volusia County area, and we were, you know, given the scholarships, recognizing a good effort on the field and off the field. Um, we always give an award away every year for that individual, whether they were the best athlete or not. Um, that was the best representative of the area, and so it's 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 a really good organization that gives back as well to the community, and at the same time, you're having fun and doing doing what that passion that we have for football, and then, you know, after last night, I'm kind of, you know, juiced up. It was the first night to get to see all the uh, college football. I think I watched every game that was on there, at least five minutes of it, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, last night was the first time it's the opening season, high school football season, just because I uh, of my Dancing with the Stars kind of stuff. But listen, I want to remind everybody that, that the phone number to call you is 252-2580, and the website is dbquarterbackclub.com, dbquarterbackclub.com. And actually, one of uh, another kid that I introduced to the quarterback club when I was a high school liaison says uh, Pat Opaluski is our, is our quarterback club. Uh, he's the quarterback this year, and uh, basically that's the president of the organization. So it's a great, great time. Please get involved with the quarterback club. I think you will enjoy it. 
and uh, I think it's a good time for everybody. Tasso, thanks for your time. All right, thank you, Don. Bye bye. All right, so let's go back to talking about health. You know, one one part of health is being healthy and and feeling good. You know, when you if you read the book uh, uh, Younger Next Year, it talks about the exercise component, it talks about the eating component, and then it talks about it talks about social connections, and that's where the quarterback club and, and that type of thing comes in. So let's talk a little bit, um, um, Mitch, about the the presentation you had last night at at your uh, your place, and today this morning you brought in a National Geographic. That had you know sugar on the cover. Sugar, you know? why we can't resist it. It's an incredible. I recommend to everyone listening, uh, go to the, the Barnes and Noble and pick up a copy if you don't subscribe. It's it's incredible. Uh, it points out one statistic. Why is it that there were 150 million diabetics in the U.S. in 1980, and now we're up to 347 million? You know, science is a double-edged sword. You can look at studies and you can massage the numbers to say whatever you want. And, and certainly the Mayo Clinic would say, oh, well, the boomers have aged. That doesn't tell the story at all. Um, the real story is that Americans consume 51 pounds, 51 pounds of high fructose corn syrup every year. That's the average guys imagine what you're at at the other end of the bell curve um if you drink a lot of sodas and things like that yeah but let's talk about um uh, 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 phony science uh you, you pointed out we were talking about glutamine um our 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 friend dr oz uh just did an assassination on an amino acid that every fitness gym and every fitness person that i've ever met emphasizes and that's carnitine fill me in on that well he he said i I believe he said um there was a risk there was a risk of it from the standpoint you you actually what you did was you called me and said hey listen uh have you heard anything about this this thing and what i did is i went to my round table and i asked my round table i said uh hey listen has anybody heard this article and i and i did research on it and what i what i read on it was uh that it had been tied into the risk of heart disease and uh and you said that that one of your clients had come and um uh, and said that it was um um it was uh cancerous it caused cancer so here's the response right, it, I got it, right. It, that it caused cancer she oz talked about lysine he talked about another a, a, a number of amino acids these are by the way essential building block amino acids l lysine as you and I know, as males, uh, ar- arnithine or, uh, or uh, arginine and ornithine together was great. And then I said, well, listen, you can take what the bodybuilders do. You can take an, an amino acid supplement. And she said, oh, well, make sure it doesn't have any carnitine in it. And I said, that's not going to happen. It's an essential amino acid it for building the- heart muscle, That's right. if nothing else. And she said, oh, well, Dr. Oz says that it caused cancer. And uh, I just have to say, we did a program last night, which was the link between diabetes and heart disease. And and we had a, a, a group that was incredible, a really, really active group of what we described, people that, that are in control of their health destiny. And the presentation showed an absolute link between sugar and its and its imbalance in 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 causing metabolic stress on the body leading to heart disease and the best frame that was shown it was an hour and a half presentation it was like a medical one on one on one on not only metabolic dysfunction but cbd cardiovascular disease and the one was was a doctor in his office and there's an oldster sitting there and he says gee diabetes and heart disease runs in your family your son your 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 grandson and then there's a pause in the next frame and and the and the doctor says it's because nobody in your family runs i just i thought about you last night there it was, <laughs> there it was. you know it isn't that it's a genetic proclivity that's a whole nother issue i just saw that you can get now you can get genetic t- tests it isn't the issue with the genes. It's what you do with the genes. That's right. Because we, we, you know, we used to think that our DNA was our destiny. 
But but what in 2004, the the epigenetics research that came out that had been running from 1995 and really became to the forefront in 2004 showed we we now know we can turn on and off good genes. And you know, ironically, one of the things that turns on all the bad genes is sugar. We had a phone call on Genie, and we we also have the response on the L carnitine that I got from my nutrient expert. Jeannie, welcome to Fitness Friday. Are you? Oh, oh, did we have her? I guess we lost Jeannie. Okay, sorry, Jeannie. If you'll call back, I apologize for that that we ran on there. So, but I want to I want to give um, I want to finish this. And I want to give the response, you know, because we have some guys that are pretty sharp on my round table, of personal trainers and 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 uh, uh, fitness professionals and and health professionals. So, you know, if if we if we had a person if we had a person that would come to me and say, oh, I, I have to I my, I don't run, I'm going to say that's great. I don't care if you don't run. Because we'll put the alternative, the eight-hour body is yeah, about Yeah, swim. That. Yeah, I don't care, swim. Okay. Hey, Jeannie, welcome to the show. Sorry we lost you. Hi. Uh, this is the best show. I'm so glad you added uh, Mitch and the uh, nutrition Ooh, I like along I, with the I love biochemistry you. Of, <laughs> of the body. Mitch, I didn't, know you, I didn't know your sister was in town. <laughs> <laughs> I am Italian, after all. Okay, the terrain, I love when you talk about the terrain, because now all of the great physicists know that... Uh, Ultimately, consciousness can even govern DNA, and also, which which means your your electrical field can govern it, and which also Absolutely. and chemistry. You know, it's a it's a process. It's a refining process from matter to the chemistry to the energy. Every so it all cell, works together. Every cell and in I your love body that. talks. Because I have a friend who talks about genes all the time, and that's why she has this, and that's why she has that. It drives me nuts because, and first of all, you can do better or worse. You can turn it around. But I wanted to say, Tasso. And Mitch, how many pounds, if you, how many, how many sodas do you, wait a minute, how many sodas do you have to drink? If you drink one soda a day for a year, how many pounds of sugar have you consumed? Well, listen, we know that the average amount of sugar, the average amount of sugar, now Mitch gave you the average amount of. 39 pounds. 51. I mean, I mean, 30, if you drink just one a day. If, she's saying if you drink one soda a day, you're going to gain. Just one, and that's just one, and you know people. I mean, right. this you're is gain that's 39 what I mean. Pounds. You're going to get, Jeannie, just to make sure, you're saying if you drink one soda per day, one 16-ounce yeah. soda, you're going to gain 39 pounds a year. No, it's 39 pounds of sugar. Okay, but it's more than that in, 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 in uh, high fructose corn syrup. The average American. Oh, yes, yes. The, the average American, the average American, not the guy that's eating sugar and candy, the average American consumes today 160 pounds of sugar per year. That's all sugar. That's, that's right. all sugar. Not just high yeah. fructose corn syrup. Okay, so, so, yeah, and, and you know, you only need to cut your diet by 19 calories per meal to lose 30 pounds in a year. Did you know that? Wow. No, yeah. but I do know that they they forget that when they're eating all those simple devitalized carbs, they don't realize they're going straight to sugar, and they think, well, I'm not. Right. You know, it's it's just the whole mindset here, and that's why I'm so glad you're talking about it. But what I meant, I know many people who drink. This is just one soda a day. Right. If you if you just imagine if you eat that plus carbs plus another soda later on, you've doubled that. <laughs> and, and, and Gene, let's not misrepresent to people here. Is is, is we are not anti-carb, okay? Or We're, even anti. I'm not either. Yeah, Com yeah. But complex carbs are in another category right. than simple carbs. The refined carbs, you know, seem to uh, they create an addiction too, you know, because it does turn straight to sugar. But the complex carbs are a different animal. Right. I guess. Uh, I guess what you're going to say is all in moderation. That's true. But they do create, I, I guess in a way you're allergic to what you're addicted to. <laughs> but anyway, I, I appreciate you going into the, uh, you know, you, you're taking it from its uh, depth and breadth, and I love that. So keep well, it it's, all, it's all about balance, and it's all about, about understanding that, that, you know, the one, the one thing we have to understand, the whole reason I opened this discussion with us on the radio a couple of weeks ago about, about the, you know, the digestive system, uh, and its role in my new big triangle, which is the brain, the gut, and the immune system, is we 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 fail to understand the brain-body connection that has so much to do with fitness and has so much to do with our genetic expression. We we think that the fitness industry is walk in the door, uh, eat really low fat, and train six days a week, and you get the body of an Adonis. You know, 
and that and that's just that number one it's not practical for most people who have working jobs to do and and what i want people to understand is that the fitness and to, to truly enjoy longevity and health and and, and strength and to be vi- you know vital in your life and have uh, uh, this vitality to do things the, the thing is is we got to have a balance and we don't need to consume our lives with fitness. now, now here's a fitness guy telling you that this i'm not telling you i'm not telling you go exercise every single day i mean right now i'm i'm in, i'm sitting there going to myself man am i overtraining because six days a week i got something going on i'm dancing three days a week i'm stretching two days a week and doing ballet and pilates and one in an hour class and i'm and then i'm doing my normal workout i'm going like man my body feels a little tired i need to i need to reevaluate my nutrition and push up my nutrition because i'm not eating in accord with the load i'm putting on my body and this this comes back to this brain uh, gut connection that we have and, it, and it's so much more like you said people blame their genetics oh my mom and dad were fat listen steve Steve Robinson, who's been on this radio show, who has lost 130 pounds and kept it off three years now. Steve Robinson's mom died of cancer. Dad died of heart attack. You're telling me that he didn't have all those genes that could express themselves. His lifestyle choices and the way he changed his eating changed the way those genes express themselves. That's what we now know. Your, your DNA is not your destiny. And so Absolutely. Because in the 30s and 40s, they didn't have category. They almost had no category for cancer and heart disease in the 30s. So it can't be genetics. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, it is deeply tied with diet and the terrain. I, I know this firsthand. And by the way, when you talk about that, Tasso, I love that you're getting more into inflammation because that seems to be a culprit in a lot of things. In last night's program, the number one cause of inflammation was sugar. Right. Oh, okay. Well, okay. The, the three main causes of inflammation are bad fats that we take in, the trans right. fats. Trans fat. Okay. Number two is toxins that we take from the air, the water we, we drink, the, the bre- what we breathe in. And, and how about women? Jeannie, see, we're talking to Jeannie in a bottle here. You know, how about women? It's, 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 it's the cosmetics that they put on their face every day. They're yeah. applying 50 to 60 uh, toxic chemicals, of which many of them are, are 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 carcinogens. Now, you ask a woman to sacrifice to sacrifice that. A lot of them will tell you go spit right now because they're they're not you know they're more concerned about where they look. You know, the fitness industry, in my mind, has to transition from this aesthetic look to what health truly is. And oh, and, and, and you that see the glow, you see the vitality. Well, and I can say that our HBA section at both of our stores in Port Orange and and Ormond Beach. We give as much attention to the the skincare lines as we do our supplements and our food. We don't sell any supplements with PABA, or at least we screen for it. We don't do any mineral oils. No, n- none of the of, of the petrochemical uh, uh, foundation, which is in the mass market uh, uh, skincare beauty industry. It's an industry. Yeah. We screen for it, and and, now, and when, when you say your HBA section of yeah, your health and that. health and beauty aid, thank our, you. There you our go. health and beauty aids, and uh, and uh, there's a reason why Dr. Jeff Park sends his uh, dermatology patients to us. It's because when we do our vitamin E or our emu oil or our our coconut oil, he knows that it's organic and that there are no chemical excipients. I I, I just it's big. And, and, of course, it's a multi-billion dollar industry, and, and it all goes back to integrity. And, and we also do programs on that. There'll be one done in September. We're de- devoting a whole evening program uh, to the largest organ of the body, which Gene knows is, is the skin. Yeah, I, I guess the women are responding to it. Well, but it, well that's why we've been trying. are already geared toward, you know, toward that. I wish... Uh, uh, the word's getting out, though. It it really is. And, um, well, little by little, Jeannie, and we appreciate you calling in today. Thank you. Goes, Thank you very much. Goes, so your health goes. <laughs> All right, no dear. Thank, Thank you, you so yeah. much. I appreciate you calling in. All right, we're going to take a break here in just a second. When we come back, we're going to talk about uh, one of the reasons why I don't listen to Dr. Oz a lot because I think he has become a mass marketer. I think the allure of money has got him going and stuff. And, you know, uh, you got to buy the product he recommends and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to talk, come back and talk about uh, the L-carnitine response that I got from my roundtable. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about that. I want to remind people that uh, 672-6464 is the number. We will be ending up our $99 special for our 8-hour body program. It gives you uh, an 
an eight weeks, eight hours of, of time put in, and we will change your body to the good side, moving in the right direction, changing it every week a little bit at a time. 672-6464 is that number. We'll be back in three minutes. All right, we're back with Fitness Friday. It's been a great show so far. We've talked about a lot of different things. We've had a little football. We've had a little fitness. We've had a little food, you know, so we're, uh, we're talking that side. So, you know, um, Mitch, you, you, um, you texted me or called me uh, uh, last week that one of your customers said something about an L-carnitine study that Dr. Oz, and I told you I, I, had, I had talked about that causes yeah, cancer. He didn't do the study. Just yeah, he yeah, regurgitated it. And I, and I, um, and I, and I said, boy, I, I got to tell you, I got to be honest with you. I don't listen to Dr. Oz. I said, you know, I sort of like stay on my own course of what I do. And, uh, and I, and I'm, you know, because of what we're doing in this holistic medicine aspect, uh, I, I'm really, I really stay focused on that. So, you know, what I want to uh, do is, as I told you, so what I'll do is there's guys I know on my round table, I'm on a round table with 25 trainers throughout the world. And we meet every other Friday for two and a half hours by, by conference call and go to meeting and that. And so I put that question out to him. Here's the response I got. The L-carnitine thing was based on a misinterpreted study that somehow got published in the New York Times. I didn't know that Dr. Oz picked it up. It is completely irresponsible for someone as respected as Dr. Oz to perpetuate this. Although it's re reported as a study done with over 2,500 people, the study bases much of its conclusion on studies with mice in the human trial that only, uh, that only had six people, one of whom was a vegan, and it failed to access, access the health and fitness of the meat eaters in, in qualifying them in the study. The 2,500 patients were admitted w for heart disease were, were uh, who were meat eaters for, for which researchers assessed their L-carnitine levels and cardiac risk. They weren't involved in the study and they didn't after their L uh, after and they didn't alter their L-carnitine studies. They simply they, they were simply data. The assumptions are uh, absurdly extrapolated. The study focuses based on, on six people. Yeah. The study focuses on gut flora that convert L-carnitine into TMA oxide which may be indicated as a player in the, in the buildup of plaque on the artery walls. But there's absolutely no evidence of individuals supplementing with L-carnitine that developed cancer or heart disease. In addition, TMA oxide is a normal compound produced by the digestive process that the body easily disposes of. The study was done by researchers at Cleveland Clinic with the intention of not assessing a supplement but linking the consumption of meat, uh, red meat to heart disease. Of course, they have an agenda. The whole thing is ridiculous. So that Phil is one of, uh, I, I respect Phil's knowledge and research that he does quite a bit. He's a researcher and an educator. So he's, he's on top of it. And that's why uh, I, like, I like having my round table because I don't, I can say I don't know, but I can find you an answer. And that's exactly what we did uh, that day. I don't know. And I found you an answer. <laughs> so, but, uh, and, and all I can say is a little bit of knowledge is really, really dangerous. Well, and, and, and uh, for those listening out there, uh, Tasso will be happy to tell you about ammonia. You know, t TMA oxide was discussed last night with three medical uh, experts. It's a normal byproduct of converting food, it, be it vegetables or meat, in, into nutrients. And there's a byproduct, and there are byproducts. And ammonia is one. You smell it every time you you go you to the commode, yeah. or you sweat. Um, yeah, I, I, again, totally bogus, but it's part of this agenda, Tasso, of making fats. There are two things, that meat eating is somehow bad and, and, and that fats are bad. They throw the fats in the same thing. It started with Dean Ornish when, the, when Dean Ornish and, and Dr. Atkins had their tete-a-tete. -tete. And, and again, a, 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 a vegan diet is great. But a, but there are some people that don't thrive on a vegan diet. You know that, right? And, and, and just again, like in in exercise, some people don't do well with free weights, but they do great with swimming. Right. So you know when I when I look at this, it goes back to moderation. It goes back to understanding. And you know uh, I haven't talked enough about this, but I need to start talking about this. On September the twelfth, uh, we will launch a program that is called Alive Across America. It is the second one of the version. People, people remember a couple of years ago uh, we had Alive. And, you know, one of the things that's been one of my goals uh, on this radio show is became very aware of it. You know, uh, sort of naive 20 or 25 years ago when I started this radio show with Dave that when I came in, when I came into the studio, I thought, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show people that uh, 
we have a different product and we have a great knowledge and they're going to drive from all over the listening audience of WNDB to come to come to us in, in Ormond Beach. Well, the reality is is that the drive time for fitness is uh, about about six minutes drive time. So we get people, we get a few people who come from Pelican Bay because it's easy to get on 95 and we get a few people come from Flagler and, and those people are usually coming for our one-on-one program. They don't come for a general membership type of basis. Uh, there's plenty of nice clubs throughout the Volusia County area that they can go to for that. So uh, this knowledge that we have that you hear being disseminated now is going to be in disseminated in a 10-week program that will be $25 a week, and it will be done by webinar. Uh, on Monday nights, you'll go to a webinar. You'll have a website you go to. And if you'd like to see some of this information, you can go to YourHealthBeginsNow, YourHealthBeginsNow.com. And if you go to yourhealthbeginsnow.com, you'll see that there is a webinar coming up in, in uh, September. Actually, maybe September 16th. I'm sorry that it comes up. And that webinar is going to introduce is the first of, uh, as an introduction. It costs twenty dollars and thirteen cents to be on the webinar, and that that twenty dollars and thirteen cents is guaranteed. If you don't learn an awful lot in that webinar, we'll refund the money to you. And what happens is is this is a a seminar that will give you an introduction to our Alive program. Now, Alive is a program that has come through. Over 800 people have been through it. We mentioned Cleveland Clinic, but it's been through John Hopkins. It's been through the Miami Jackson Memorial Circuit. Over 800 people have gone through This is a program for people who are on medication, who have chronic disease. Uh, it can handle an elite athlete. I do a lot of the stuff that we do in a live program with my elite athletes, but the level is different. We, we, dis, we teach you how to discern what level you're at and then to put your program together that you go. And every week we will, we will uh, teach you what to do. I'll actually follow up with a class at the club to show the movements so people can come down one day a week if they want. It's all included. There's no extra cost for that. Uh, but once a week, you'll be guided on this program. And the motto of the program is to just get better every week. Well, out of 800 people going through this program thus far, we have we have 97% have reduced their medications and reversed this chronic disorder that they have. It is a self-driven program. It's not a program that you say, oh, gee, $25 a week, that's $250. It's not a $250 fee every 10 weeks. What it is is when you're done with the 10 weeks of the program, you have working knowledge. Now, you may choose to come to us one time a week for one-on-one -on -one or something like that or get involved in a program somewhere, but you will now carry information that is a program you do right in your own home. You can go out to play it against Sam and buy yourself a medicine ball and some dumbbells and, and that and do it at your house very easily. It's a program that has been designed. I just talked to you about a round table of 25 people. Well, that, that, those round, that round table of 25 people, we've spent three years developing this program. It's being offered all around the United States. Uh, we, we are trying to do it on, with technology and do it to where we deliver it to people's homes. So your health begins now look for the alive across america program and you can go in and you can look at that and you can say hey listen i'm i'm going to get involved in that because you may be in new Smyrna, or you may be in the land and you can't get the bodies by toss on company but i promise you that if you invest in that program listen if you don't believe in that program you call me and you say, Tasso, I want to hear about it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll pay your twenty. I'll pay your twenty dollars and thirteen cents. That's how much I believe in this program. If you don't want to pay your twenty dollars and thirteen cents, you don't think it's worth it. You call me. If you pay and you don't like it, I'll refund you your twenty dollars and thirteen cents. So it, it's really a no risk thing. But this is just a nice ninety minute seminar that is going to introduce you to some principles that are, we're going to teach you. Listen, there's no one exercise. There's no one pill. There's no one food. There's no one solution that is going to cure your health and, and bring your health back. Again, this is for any level of fitness, but the program has been most successful with people who suffer from diabetes, arthritis, asthma, allergies, you know, ha that have heart disease, have those types of things. If you're a chronic disease, if you're taking medications, this program has been geared for you because psychologically, many of you people who suffer from that, what do you do? You say, I can't go to a fitness center. Everybody's in shape there. You have a mental block against that. In fact, we'll talk about that mental block. We'll talk about it from a standpoint of your RAS, your, your, your reticular activating system, and your experiential memories that you have, and then your PFC, your pre, uh, prefrontal cortex. We'll talk about why you think about, about fitness like that. And maybe it changes your mind, maybe it doesn't, but you, at least you'll be educated to know how you can change your life and change the way you do things. Because, again, we take an approach that is 
one little step every week. And that's the same approach we take in our eight-hour body program, and it's the same approach. The thing I hate about personal trainers, I have, I, have, I have friends who are personal trainers that tell me, why do you train that guy? He never, he never looks different. And I go like, listen, that guy, that guy is 50 pounds overweight and has no medication and has no heart disease and has no other things going on except he's overweight. Why? Because he's doing a lot of good things in his life. He just eats too damn much. So I won't prejudice a person that they don't, they don't do exactly what I say to do eating-wise we have solutions, but we work from that standpoint. We got a call like, real quick at the end, rather than find out who it is. Hey, Jim, you there? Yeah, I just wanted to mention uh, Dr. Lustig, uh, University of California, San Francisco, was a researcher on sugars and all that. He and he's a pediatric endocrinologist. He said he's getting ten-year-olds with fatty livers, something that only senior alcoholics used to get. That that whole sugar thing is a toxin. That's right, it's uh, toxin. Runs, 60 minute runs uh, special on it it's mainstream people should be aware of it but somehow we're still getting a whole lot of sugar well because it tastes good and people and people don't want to believe that something that could taste good could be so bad for you jim it's just you know it's a it's the kind of thing until you start to study and see the evidence but we as a culture too often take oh don't worry about it. it's like that high fructose corn services hey duh it's corn okay so and listen we got to jump out government. tell people how to get the, the love whole foods because we got 30 seconds yeah, and we're out all right listen uh come and pick up a free sheet on the cycle of inflammation at love whole foods 275 williamson boulevard ormond beach or at our new location at 1633 taylor road in port orange uh, we're open seven days a week. Give us a call, and uh, we'll be happy to fill you in since you weren't able to make it to our program last night. All right. Thank you very much for joining Fitness Friday. Hope you have a great week. Get out and support high school football. Yeah, Hope your team's win in football. 672-6464 is the number of bodies. We look forward to helping you get fit. God bless, and have a great weekend.